December 6th and I am here at my mother's new, my parents' new home. <laughs> my sister and I are cleaning. I am right now in cleaning the refrigerator. Not very exciting, but this is my day. Um, so today is Vlogmas Day 6 and I will take you on this journey today. We are so happy. This has been such a long road to get them here, but they are now here and oh my gosh, my heart is just it's bursting right now, like absolutely bursting. I could cry again. So um, I'll see you in a little while. Back to cleaning. Here, everybody. Okay, this is this is a video, you guys. So here is my mom. Here's my mom. She does. You don't look old. You look great. Here's my mom, and that's my sister. And we're here cleaning up and tidying up, and we're having so much fun. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Bye. Okay. Bye. As you can see, I had a very full day today. Um, things were so great this the, today, this morning with my mom and my sister. Aren't they cute? <laughs> I think they're so cute. Um, we are very, very close. The three of us are like sisters. We are incredibly close. Um, my dad is not really able to help right now. He's um, my dad is 86, so, I mean, he's healthy and fine, just, um, he just is a little bit slower right now, so we're, we're doing the heavy lifting, so to speak, right now, and here he's, uh, back at the old house, just kind of relaxing and taking his time. Oh, here comes my son. He's coming on over. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, it's about quarter to eight right now. And it's almost bedtime, so as you can, when he's tired, that's where his hand goes. <laughs> um, so he's a little bit sleepy right now, um, so I'm going to make this relatively quick and um, put my babies to bed. So oh, why don't you go find Kira, and I'll be ready in a second, okay? I love you. <laughs> he's looking at the tree back there. Go with your sister, I'll be right back. Okay? Go on. So anyway, <laughs> hold on. I'll be right back. He just left to go hang out with his sister. So um, you'll see her in this episode too in a little bit. Um, so yeah, my dad is sort of taking it easy and getting some paperwork done while we get this stuff done. So it's all good. Um, we went a little, we did a little bit of shopping after cleaning. That was really boring. I wasn't going to drag you on for that. Um, but we did a little bit of shopping and got some more stuff for, um, they are in a co-op. So the co-op, their home, their house for their home. And, um, yeah, it was a good day. Very, very productive. I picked the kids up from school and came home and, um, 
I wanted to make, I, every year I make toffee and I've been making toffee for years now. I think maybe last Vlogmas I shared the recipe and some pictures on Instagram and stuff, but um, to be honest, I just wanted to step out of the box and try something a little different this year. So I decided to try fudge. And it's a three ingredient fudge. I found the recipe on Pinterest, of course, because we all love Pinterest. And um, it turned out great. It's one can of condensed milk, which is what you saw. Um, can of condensed milk, so it's a 14 ounce can. I think any brand, I don't think it matters. Three cups of chocolate chips. I use Nestle semi-sweet morsels and a quarter cup of butter. Oh yeah. Um, so, and then you just put, put it in a microwave safe bowl, pop it in the microwave. You have to take it out a couple times and stir it and then pour it into a greased eight by eight, um, dish and you're good to go. And I, I just want to apologize for my dish. That dish is, I think that was my mother's and it's so old and we've tried to get those stains off from around the edges. We've scrubbed, we've tried, we've easy offed. They're not budging. The pan is, the dish is clean. <laughs> so um, please forgive me, but I think everybody's got one of those pans in there. My hair, I've got like a stray hair here. Everyone's got one of those pans somewhere in a cabinet or a pantry someplace, that old pan that you just don't want to throw away because it cooks things perfectly. <laughs> So, um, and that's the only eight by eight size that I had. So once it's melted in the microwave, then you pop it in the refrigerator to set and you're good to go. So when this is when I'm finished talking here, I'll, I'll put a little video at the end with the verdict and let you know. So, um, yeah, that was my day. Um, little experimenting in the kitchen today. And I think we should open up some, I have absolutely no knitting to show you. There was next to, I think I did maybe three row, <laughs> three rounds on a sock. There was next to no knitting today at all, and that is totally fine. So let's jump right in, you guys. We'll start with our usual Legacy Fiber Arts. And yes, I'm back in the nook this evening. It's a little dark, but the light actually isn't too bad in here right now, and you can see I have my little tree lit. You know what? I actually want to pop one of these off and show you. I don't even know what my hair looks like back there, but I wanted to pop one of these off. These are trinkles that my dear friend Carolyn gave me a set of last year for Christmas, and I haven't sewn them yet. I actually really like them just plain like this, so I just ran a ribbon through and um, I hung them on my little on my little tree back there. So, uh, and there's two little mittens. I think you can see the mitten right there. Isn't that good? I nailed it that time. <laughs> I am so silly. Um, so yes, that is my little tree. Uh, it lights up and I just love it and it sits there in my little stocking. Oh, I am on today, two in a row. <laughs> um, so yes, okay, let's open some yarn. Here is Legacy Fiber Arts. Let's get this baby open. And Sue was on Periscope this morning. Sue is, you know Sue from Legacy Vibe Arts. She was on Periscope this morning and um, I jumped on and hung out with her for a little bit and chatted with everybody. And she thanked me for showing her yarn and colorways every evening or every episode. And Sue, if you're watching, and she also made a point that it, it becomes very difficult to keep up with Vlogmases because there's so many of us doing them and so many episodes coming out daily, um, but many people thanked me both on Instagram and here in the comments for doing this every day, and you're welcome. It's my pleasure. I love it, and I am having fun, and again, so far so good with finding this balance, so this is good. Um, so yeah, so thank you, and Sue, you know I love you and Chelsea with all my heart, and I love your yarn, and <clears throat> of course I want to show it off because it's beautiful. So that said, perfect segue to day six. I'm sorry now if the lighting isn't that great in here, but I think we can still, we can pull this off. So here, oops, wait, I'm trying to hold it properly. Here is day six, you guys. <sighs> look at that just pink yarny yumminess. Oh, look at that. Love it, love it, love it. Let us hold this out and do our little roll so you can see it. Got a little tail hanging there. Let's tuck that baby in. Tuck 
that in a little bit. But there it is, you guys. Beautiful. And this little splotch of darker pink in here. Love, love, love that. And this is, it's a pinky purple. Um, I'll show you, I'll show it to you hanging on the other tree where the light is a little bit better, but <clears throat> beautiful. Here it is. And of course that will be made into a wreath in just a little bit. So here's Legacy Fiber Arts, day six. So let's tuck that back in there. And let's keep this party going, you guys. We do Homespun House second. Oh wait, the goodies. Hold on, let's squeeze, squeeze. Oh, oh. <laughs> there's something hard in here. It's not yard. Okay, should we do it? Should we do it? Let's do it. Oh, it's a little candle. Oh my gosh, you guys. Can you see that? Oh, that's better. It's a little snowman candle. How cute is this? Thank you, Molly. That is adorable. That is precious and adorable, and I will never light it. You know what? I think he's going to go right back here. Isn't he cute back there? You kind of can't see him too well, but he's right there. Guys, are you counting? That was three times. I nailed it three times. <laughs> I'm so happy today. Um, oh, I forgot about the yarn. Let's open the yarn. Hang on. All right, here is a homespun house. So thank you, Molly, for my little snowman candle. Oh my God, that's a good, oh. Look at that. Day six of a homespun house advent calendar. Oh, yumminess, just yummy. Oh, can you see a mini sock knit up in this? I'd love to see like a pair of socks knit up in this, a full pair. This is beautiful. And you know I'm not a fan of the jewel tones, um, but this is really, really pretty. So here it is, a little couple of little red speckles in there. I love it, love it, love it. So here it is, and this will be wreathed also. So that is day six of A Homespun House. And let's get to, oh, you know what? I forgot my chart. Oh dear. You know what? I'll add it down here for you because that's down the hall. I my husband is Chris is sitting at the dining room table tonight. That's why I'm I'm here in the nook. Um and I left my list with the color name down the hall. But again, I'm gonna put it right here on the screen for you. Because I'm just too lazy and really don't feel like going down. <laughs> Forgive me. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh. It's like almost a grillo kind of color. Gray and yellow. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I want a full skein of this. Tristan, if you're watching, I want a full skein of this. Oh my gosh. I love it, love it, love it. I love this colorway. I wonder if these I wonder if these are repeatable. I know I asked that the other day about Legacy Fiber Arts. Oh my gosh, I really, really, really love this one so much. There is so much going on in there. Oh, look at that, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is day six. Again, I will put the name down there for you. And we might have to revisit this tomorrow, but we'll see. So forgive me for not giving you the name. I know that's a bit of a tease, but or not saying the name, but again, it's right. I just don't know what it is, so I will be surprised later to find out. So that is all of our yarny goodness wool piggery for today. Um, let's get to our questions. And um, yeah, so day five's questions were, day five's question was, what three songs will always be found at the top of your playlist? Oh my gosh. I didn't have a lot of time to read the comments from yesterday, but there were so many. And I know Natalie, uh, who is Remembrances, Pot Natalie Sheldon, who is Remembrances Pottery, she said that the majority of her playlist is from the 80s. <laughs> and I just, oh, wait, there's a little head, there's a little baby head. He's mm. so sweet. He just wants, at this time of night, I'm. Uh, he just wants to be on me. Oh, oh, come, come. Kira just said, here she comes. Don't bump the bed. Don't bump the bed. Hi, my friend. <laughs> Hi. I hope to meet you all one day. Hi, Billy. Okay, but you got to talk with your thumb out. Hi, Billy. Hi, Billy. Who's, who's Billy? He's in my class. 
Oh, he's in her class. Oh, he's saying hi to someone also, from his class. Also, if you have seen the commercial, oh, careful, careful, guys. Share your gifts, like how my mom shares her knitting. <clears throat> you guys should share your knitting or your gifts or whatever. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> love you. Love you too. Um, oh my gosh, I love my kids. Wait, I really there's. Do. What, honey? Mommy. What? What? Can you see yourself? Mommy. Yeah? yeah. My eyes are moving. I know they are because you're moving your head. See? <laughs> to see the world through the eyes of a four year old is just amazing. Um, yeah, at this time of night, he just wants nothing. Okay, wait, wait, you can't do that on screen. He just wants to be in my arms and get ready for bed. So, um, yes, can you, give, can you give me one more minute? Can you give me one more minute? Go hold Kira, and I'll be right there. One minute. One minute. Count to, count to 30, and then I'm going to come, okay? Count to 30. One, two, three. Oh, slower, <laughs> slower. <laughs> and he can count to 30 really fast. Um, okay, so let's finish up. The songs, that was the three songs. So Natalie said that her um, playlist was predominantly 80s, and that just made me laugh out loud because I am also a child of the 80s. Um, and I'm actually surprised not one song here is from the 80s. Actually, no, that's more 90s, I guess. Um... But yeah, it was really, it wasn't actually that hard to pick. I love a lot of songs, but my three top, top songs. So my three are, and thank you to everybody, as always, who left their comments and let me know. Um, one person left a comment and said, oh man, this was a hard one. She would have to get back to me. <laughs> so, so don't forget, you have to get back to me. I want to know what your songs are. Um, so mine are easy. My top, top, top song is Diamonds on the Soles of Her Shoes by Paul Simon from the album Graceland. <sighs> this might sound morose, but I've told my mother, I've told my husband, when, if I pass away before either of you, and I'm putting this in my will, I want that song played at my funeral because it's such a great song. It's such a celebration of life. I love it so much. So Diamonds on the Soles of Her, Soles of Her Shoes. Um, it was it was a tight race with this next one. Um, I almost put this one first, but you know what? Let's just say no no in no particular order because this is a hard one. But this, <clears throat> excuse me, um, was my wedding song, and yeah, that pretty much sums it up. <laughs> it's "In Your Eyes" by Peter Gabriel. If you guys don't know that song, go and listen. I think on maybe my second or third date with Chris, I sang that song to him and that pretty much sealed the deal. <laughs> he was mine. <laughs> uh, and then my third song, this is also, this song was not, this was also played at our wedding and is on, my wedding favor was a CD of our music, of our music. And this, this song was also on the album or on the CD and it's Ice Cream by Sarah McLachlan. And there is a line from the song that is engraved in my wedding band. That's, that's how much this song means to the two of us. So, yes, <laughs> those are my three songs, you guys. Um, ice, again, it's Ice Cream by Sarah McLachlan. Um, <laughs> CJ. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pause for one second, guys. He gets very punchy when he, he's sleepy. I'm sorry if that was inappropriate or if anybody heard what he said. But he's four and he's allowed. He can say whatever he wants um, to some degree. Okay, anyway. Uh, so today's question, my day six got it here. Now, what told me to write it on a dark blue card with a dark blue pen and then sit in the dark and try to read it? It's been a long day. Okay, so yes. Day six question, if I can remember what I wrote here, is what is your most used phrase? Hmm. What is the thing that you say most of all? So if someone said, oh, what is, what's Denise's most used phrase? What does she say all the time? <laughs> That's it. That's your most used phrase. I've got two. So, yeah. You will find out tomorrow. <laughs> Stay tuned, you guys. Um... So those are my questions. Those are, that's pretty much it, you guys. That's yarn, that is my day, that is a little bit of my family. Um, some yarny goodness, some questions, some, 
some fudge. <laughs> uh, I hope everybody had a really wonderful day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's episode, I'm not sure how that's gonna go. Um, Tomorrow evening, Chris and I are going to a holiday party. Um, it's a fire department party, so we'll see about footage and stuff like that for tomorrow. Um, yeah, but I'll be all gustied up, <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, so that will be tomorrow, and I can't wait to see you all again. Thank you so much. Don't forget, leave your comments down below. That, your comments are what is keeping this going for me, so please continue to leave comments. I love, love, love them. I read every single one. Um, so just keep them coming, you guys. Have a great night, and I will see you all tomorrow. Happy and merry, everybody. Bye. And the verdict is... Oh my god. You guys, this is fudge. And it's amazing. Wow. Oh my gosh, I will add the link to this in the description box down below. Mm. I can't eat any more of this. This is too good. Oh my gosh, now we have to try vanilla fudge next.